probably not a good idea for me to be drinking a big old thing of Monster at midnight. Well, so hey, I don't do it, pussy! I'm doing <laughs> I like it. how Mike Zach posted, he's like, Welcome oh, to the no, podcast, yes. woo! Yes. Hey. <laughs> Welcome. Introduction Welcome. phrase. <laughs> That one. I like it. Uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back once again to, yes, the Level Unlock podcast, episode 116. Oh, jeez. One, one, six. And I know that because that was the last time I went live. And I put in an extra one after that. Amazing, <laughs> huh? There you go. Welcome back on uh, what was a successfully long and draining black friday for those who work in retail <laughs> yeah seriously it wasn't, it wasn't for me yeah the, the only true. the only bad part about it was i was bored to tears so i was telling my wife and i was like the only thing that can get my inner rage and anger to like its max boiling point is retail and boy yeah it's true <laughs> that's pretty accurate actually that might be in the wrong, wrong job then, yeah. but yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, probably. <laughs> like if, I feel hmm. like he found the perfect job at this point. That's what he found. Yeah. Makes his day better, but it also makes him want to strangle somebody. It's great. Yeah. You're the best of both worlds. Good mix. Got to keep you on your toes. James, I love it. You're just like, your head just keeps popping in and out like, eh? Uh, uh. <laughs> it's great. I love it. 20 out of 10 <laughs> would recommend. Here we are messing with the Discord virtual background. Yeah, we are. <laughs> gotta mess with them. We gotta, you, we gotta test them, man. Um, some content here. Yeah. Man. yeah. Uh, happy Thanksgiving for all uh, who yes. celebrated it. Uh, so, welcome, guys. How's uh, how's everyone been? It's been about a month, hasn't it been? Not about two and a half weeks, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, something like that. Two and a half, two and a half three weeks. Not roughly. Well, let's, yeah. let's find out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, I can tell you right now, it actually has been a month because oh, the last shit. time we were on, it was the Halloween one. Oh yeah! Oh god! Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. It has been a month. Fuck. All right. Fuck. Now we have to keep tradition and do Christmas. Son of a, Son of a bitch! <laughs> um, Raise your Santa is, hat when you need it. It is a month from now. That, I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> so let's kind of go around the room. How's everyone been doing? What have they been up to? How was the, their holidays? Um, start with you, James. Yeah, it was a holiday. Mr. Noodles. I it was a holiday. Most of the day. It was wonderful. I needed it, but then I oh yeah, I I really felt it today because like I slept like shit because mm -hmm. I you know sleeping most of the day. I went to bed at around like one in the morning, woke up at like three, couldn't yeah. fall back asleep. So I sat right. and watched YouTube videos. Dude, I, I don't know what watched, it was. I sat and watched YouTube cooking videos. I like it. <laughs> There Happy was... Thanksgiving. Yes, <laughs> YouTube cooking videos. There was one that I saw from this one dude. I forget who it was, um, but it was Lazy Man Drinks. Was the video was called? Sure. Okay. And okay. So he taught you how to make some drinks. This motherfucker had a tutorial on how to make iced coffee. <laughs> guess, guess what? Hey he, man, you he, you don't know. Well, okay, I do know now. So you take a cup of ice and a cup of cold coffee. You pour that cold coffee into the ice. And then you oh, add hard. sweetener and cream, or half and half. There you go. <laughs> so I always thought you were supposed to just do ice and pour water and some coffee grounds. That's what I always thought it was. Yeah, no, this is for lazy men. Uh... Which seems like more work, though. <laughs> Because yeah, you actually have to make the coffee. coffee, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, and cool yeah. it down. Yeah, the same. And then pour it on ice. The yeah. Same. Video. Otherwise, the ice melts it, dilutes it. The same video, the man did the unthinkable. Probably the most, <laughs> probably the most complex dish or drink he's ever made but that I've ever seen. On pizza. Oh God, no! That's a sin. Exactly. Um, to thank you. someone <laughs> agrees i have gone into many a almost fist yeah. fights over it hey man pineapple belongs on pizza fucking, it's delicious fucking brandon ordered pizza at work the other day motherfucker <laughs> put pineapple on that shit <laughs> oh, and yeah. i look at him i look at him dead in the <laughs> eye and i go i know i paid you for this but like i want my money back 
<laughs> I want a refund. Where's PayPal's verification when I need it? <laughs> this wasn't Pretty in much. the fine print, but I'm purchase sorry. protection. I need my purchase protection. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do a chargeback. If not, like just don't worry about it. Like I need my contact cash app. So like you know, um. But anyway, this this dude made cucumber water. That was that was his his like big old like big drink that he made. Uh, the tell? dude spent five fucking minutes just coming over this goddamn picture that his wife <laughs> bought at Walmart. <laughs> and it's the most generic ass picture I've ever seen in my life. And the dude's like, well, look at it. It's like amazing. You know, you see, it. <laughs> you know, a little bit of ice comes out, but not all of it. You know, it's got hey, some Google good, office light good, off. good, uh, good pour to it. It's sturdy. It's glass. Like it's, it's glass. amazing. It's great. Yeah. It was like $8. You know, like this is the best picture I've ever had. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I like it. And I look at it, I'm like, my man's is just cutting up cucumbers and putting it in water. <laughs> and calling it like a drink. <laughs> well, like don't a you recipe normally for think it. that that's normally drink? I mean, sure. But like listen, I, I mean I don't care if you put cucumbers in your water. I put lemon in my water. I I fucking suckle on that lemon and throw it in the water. But, hey man. you know, but this dude also spent the, like, another, like, two minutes just, just oozing over, like, how f- much he fucking loves cucumber water. <laughs> I'm like, dude, you don't need a tutorial on how to make fucking cucumber water. Obviously, you need a tutorial on how to make coffee, iced coffee, so. Yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fair um. Enough. But yeah, so other than doing that, I I've purchased a Pokemon Pearl. Yes, yeah. I got another Pearl user. Yeah, uh, I you know it. There was a lot of like discussion amongst people uh, at work, which co- who was going to buy what copy, and you the know, life I just, of Best Buy. Yeah, every everyone <laughs> like a lot of people bought Diamond, or like pretty much everyone bought Diamond, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to yeah. be the bro. You, I'm going to get Pearl. <laughs> I'm gonna get Pearl. So, Be that guy. I got you. I understand. I'm the only one who bought Pearl around us as well. So it's okay. <laughs> I understand. Like, I don't know. I that was when I jumped off the series. That's when I dropped off the series, like pretty hard. I had. I, I think I had Diamond up. on the DS. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I never really, you know. Other than I kept up. Yeah. So. Okay. All right. You're struggling, my man. Yeah, I'm trying to get Windows to work. Um, Yeah, I bought that. I played um, Tales, more Tales of the Arise. That game is still phenomenal. Uh, Played more Lost Judgment. That game is still phenomenal. Um, Played some more uh, Forza the other day. Nice. Just by myself. I was just dicking around. I was like, you know, That's I, the I, best game for it, though. It's just so much fun to just do stupid stuff. Exactly. Like, I... I I'm not a big, um... Uh, racing game fan. Like, at all. I'll You know, I'll play Burnout. Even though, you know, the people who think it's better than Chrono Trigger's Uncultured Swines. Um, <laughs> but... Love you, Stevie. But, anyway, um... No, I'll play Burnout. I'll play Gran Turismo. You know, I'll just stick around in that, but... There's something about Forza Horizon 5 that it just hooked me from the beginning. This absolutely just hooked me. And I am in love with it. I love the game. It's it's a fun game. The, yeah, it's one of the best racing games I've ever played. Hands down. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, I guess we, we'll talk about Halo later. Because I know we all played Halo. Um, oh! Listen to this bullshit. I know I talked to you guys about it, but I opened up some Pokemon stuff. I opened up some nice. two Elite Trainer boxes. I got two because I forgot I ordered one. So when that came in for store pickup at work, I was pleasantly surprised. But the first the first one, me and me and Mike Zach, 
We're in a Discord call. That was the... Uh, I think you guys are all in AIMS chat or something like that. And I pull this card. Elisa Sparkle. Full art trainer. Oh, that's not... That, there you go. Hey, it's, it's full art. It's, it's cool. It's rare as fuck. And I like it. 23... Or like... Somewhere between 21 and $23 it's worth. Huh. Very mm -hmm. first pack out of this other... Elite Trainer Box. I pull the Rainbow Rare version of it. Which is even rarer. 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 rarer, rarer, rarer. <laughs> Twelve fucking dollars. <laughs> so the non-rare version is worth more than the rarer version. That makes no fucking sense. Nope. I'm pissed. <laughs> I, I was legitimately upset at that. It was one of those things. It was just like, I was legitimately upset. I'm like, the fuck is this bullshit? <laughs> That's funny. Um, oh, shit, fuck. What else have I done in the past month? Uh, slept, cried, you know, that kind of stuff. All the usuals. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, nothing new. I feel that. I got, I got this. Let me, let me grab it real quick. Okay. Uh, uh, I grab it. I guess it. he's grabbing stuff. I'm he's grabbing it. Sitting back. Oh, I bought. I bought. Grab I bought a game and watch. I bought the Legend of Zelda game and watch. Nice. Hey. Hey. They just uh. Oh, it's man. really cool. I like it. the The back you can't. Okay, there you go. Uh, you can kind of see it. The green screen doesn't work, but it's uh. It's, it's got the Triforce when you turn it on. Hmm. It's really nice, and it comes in a cool. It's a lot better than the Mario one because of Zelda, but it also comes with this cool little, like, like presenter thing. So, that's going to be in the background, but I guess that doesn't matter now with the custom backgrounds. Uh. <laughs> uh, <Intuition>. um, <clears throat> uh how about the Mets? Uh, that's it. <laughs> that's all that I did. I got drunk a few times, but, you know, that's, that's the normal week. There you go. Sunday fun day. Uh, Sunday fun day. Uh, Jet, what'd you do? How you doing? Um, you good there, Jeremy? Oh yeah. Um, fine, good. Ah, uh, for the most part, nothing super crazy. I kind of to to piggyback off what you said about the Pokemon stuff. I got a Pearl as well. I've been trying to play it, okay. but I've been getting really busy. Work has been as busy. I mean, it's holiday week. It's gonna be busy. Um. Went and saw the uh, new Resident Evil with Jeremy on Wednesday night, which was a little Coco. weird at first, but it was a good movie. I actually enjoyed it. I'm really proud of. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but Where's we my, uh, definitely was my, really proud of what they did. Um, Wear my Resident Evil three shirt with Nemesis. Nice, on Jill. Mr. Nemesis. That's dope. I'm wearing my Destiny one today. The Yeti. Um, the for the most part other than that i've just been kind of chilling out not doing a whole lot i uh i bought far cry 6 earlier today so we'll see i'm gonna test that out and see Let how i like it think of it absolutely um for the other stuff nothing crazy i got over being sick that's about it i was sick for a week last week um but yeah nothing new for the most part Jeremy, don't we? We already know what you do in your free time. We don't need you to tell the street that, sir. Um, yeah, but I don't think we've all played really very much stuff lately. Nothing new, at least. Um, yeah. Other than Halo. <clears throat> I haven't played it yet. You guys did. Oh. I haven't played it yet. Oh, you're so. missing out. I mean, I, I have yeah. spoilers. I mean, it's Halo. There's Spoiler. not really anything to spoil. <laughs> um, it's just a multiplayer, too. Uh, other than that, yeah, nothing crazy. Um, what about you, Mark? What you been up to? Um, working a lot like normal. Uh, I played uh, some Fallout, was it Tale of Two Wastelands? Um, so that's the Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, uh, mod that brings oh. in, uh, Fallout 3 assets oh. to Fallout New Vegas. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, it's, uh, pretty, pretty well put together. It took yeah, a while. you were talking to... about it for a while. Sorry. Yeah, it's hard. I I think I might have talked about it on the last podcast. I I played it a little bit. Um, since then, uh, not not incredibly as much as I should have, but uh, it's it 
it's really fun. <laughs> like I want to get back into it. Um, so I, I played that a little bit. Um, just going through a list of things that I played. I played a Dwarf Romantic, which is a, a hexagon tile based like uh, chill city builder that's on Steam. I think it was like 10, 10 bucks or something like that. Mm. Um, I really enjoy it. If you kind of like, uh, how do I put it? Management style building, but not really with a huge, uh, you know, push towards completing objectives. It's a pretty cool game. Nice. Um, you played some Phasmophobia. I remember the update happened. Uh, or yes, they, they put out a new update recently. So we've been playing that too. Uh, one thing I forgot about to talk about, we all talk about Back for Blood. We... We did it. We completed it. We didn't talk about that last time because we didn't complete it all the way. Oh, you, you beat the video yeah. game? Yeah, we beat the wow. game. Yeah, I guess we did actually finish it. I yeah. honestly don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it was a while ago. It was like two or three weeks ago. I feel, yeah. Uh, it was kind of unremarkable in my opinion. <laughs> yeah. It was fun. It's a, it's, a, it's a fun, like, multiplayer game to just kind of be as like a mid-tier game where you're not like super into it but it's a fun something else to do yeah so. definitely Sorry, uh, I, yeah so we played some back for blood that was pretty dope uh i uh made a new minecraft server so i've been playing a uh, uh, uh texit 3.14 pi which is a basically a, a vanilla minecraft server with a bunch of uh technical and uh industrial based mods um then there's also mods that are um also focused towards uh decoration as well as um like the weapons and stuff for the lack of a better term so that's the hexit part of it so i i like the industrial stuff for the lack of a better term um there's this one object called a called a query um and what you do is you feed it power from an engine you feed it some coal it powers that up and then it, it draws a frame and then it literally just like drills out an entire chunk for you and loads that into a chest. So nice. you can have like automated mining, automated smelting, all that sort of stuff. Oh, cool. Um, Fancy. It, it, it's a lot of different power things. It, it's a really fun game. Like I'm, I'm trying to get other people to join because there's so much to it. I'd, I'd really love to like, I don't know, have one of us like focus and like, I don't know weapons or some shit. There's also like space, space adventuring. Like you can go to the fucking moon and shit. Like, I, 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 nice. I, I think be, yeah. Like I, I don't personally do that yet, but like I know that. <laughs> uh, no, I mean I'll get to it. It's just I want to focus on trying to make everything efficient. Um, but at the same time, like it would be super cool, like seeing how other people do the same sort of thing. Um, but you know. <laughs> Yeah. We hope to get get y'all on there sometime, but but long story short, I've been having a lot of fun uh, messing with that. I've been playing a lot of that in my free time. Uh, that as well as Forza, um, good old Horizon Five, <laughs> the good old new one. But oh. yeah, yeah, I think uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. <laughs> uh, Walker, how about yourself? Uh, well, I finally found my Switch for the. First time since about Pokemon. Yeah, I was going to say, it's been like a week and a half. No, oh, jeez. So, um, I played it for like 30 minutes yesterday. Um, nothing too overwhelming yet, because I couldn't find it. Uh, it was under my fucking kid's bed. So Good place for it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, my was Switch little... was at Brandon and Mike Zach's house for like a month. Um, oh, played damn. Forza, played a couple games of Halo. I'm not really much it. I'm on season, almost on. I think season, almost done with season ten, either nine or ten of Big Bang Theory. I'm almost done with it again. <laughs> oh jeez, again. Um, Keyword. we did finish. I would say half finish. Um, Dragon Ball Super, uh, a couple weeks ago, and then actually yeah, watched Broly. Um. <laughs> Watch Red Notice, the Rock's new movie. Uh, a couple days ago, we actually watched um, Step Brothers. That, that's always funny. What are you oh, doing, yeah. Step Bro? <laughs> what are you oh, doing, Step movie? Bro? What are you doing? <laughs> I forgot uh, to mention it, but I, I watched the Cowboy Bebop on Netflix. Sorry to interrupt. Oh you. no, how was it? <laughs> yeah, how was that? 
I haven't watched the anime, so okay. you know, uh, you know, I'm I'm sinning in that first place. Like, don't don't remind me. <laughs> um, but, <laughs> Uh, for a, a show that's entertaining, uh, I personally really like it. Like, I, I, I can't wait to watch another episode of it. Um, oh, it's a show? It's oh, not it's a, a movie? show, not a movie? Yeah, I thought it was a yeah, movie. It's a, yeah, it's, I thought it's a it was too at first. Yeah, it's a 10-episode huh. TV show. Okay. Yeah, it's re- it's really good. I've been enjoying it, like, very, very much. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, like, a, like an hour-long episodes, correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what I thought. Uh, I figured I'd mention it. Uh, have yeah. at it, Walker. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> I actually thought it was. A, I thought it was supposed to be a movie too, and then I clicked on it, and it was a TV show, and I was like, "Oh, damn. Okay." Um, speaking of TV shows, I gotta watch the first two episodes of uh, Hawkeye. Um, that's getting phenomenal reviews. Um, basically, you have to see it. um, the Disney Plus shows. If you kind of read about them. They've gotten better from each one. Like Loki was far among better than the Winter Soldier and the Falcon and WandaVision. Uh, it was it was fucking awesome. And they're saying that this sh- Hawkeye show, the new series, is just as good as Loki in terms of reviews. So we'll see. I haven't got to watch them. It came out. Uh, the two episodes came out yesterday. And the last episode airs on Christmas Day. Um, oh, jeez. Uh, basically, they said it's Marvel and Disney's Christmas gift to set up the future of the MCU. That's what they're going for. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah. It's getting good reviews, but obviously as time goes, but who knows. So... But we'll see. I li- I enjoyed it. I liked it. Other the other ones, so I'm assuming I'll probably like this one. I just haven't, unfortunately, had time to really yeah, watch that's, them. That's kind of the problem. Is the time? Uh, set up aspect. the Christmas tree. Time is a big difference there. Mm-hmm. Set up the Christmas tree. Nice. Just because now with working in retail in December and shit, it's just too Not chaotic. Time to, yeah. So, um. That's all done now. My wife's going to decorate the finish decorating the outside tomorrow and then we'll pretty much be good. I'm glad you waited um, until after Thanksgiving. Appreciate you. <laughs> hey people, oh, yeah. my like my fucking skip that neighbor, my fucking neighbor put up her Christmas lights about early like probably like the 3rd of the month. Oh yeah. And, and like, I walk up to her and I'm like, "Isn't is it a little early?" be putting up christmas lights and she goes no it's not it's 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 was winter it, time and i go no was it what me? about thanksgiving or was it different when we were kids because i could have sworn like when i was a kid my mom decorated for thanksgiving yeah like they no, had this yeah. they had the, the, mm-hmm. the wall stickers like yep. the, the window stickers the door everything it was all decorated for thanksgiving oh yeah uh-huh. um, no, I remember. people are just slowly forgetting about thanksgiving and now like i feel like no one does like, it's true though. The day that we Halloween, eradicate Christmas. But Thanksgiving's so important because it's the day we eradicate the uh turkey species for what they did to us. Yeah, it's, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're not. <laughs> it's the day that we just destroy lots of food and be fat, fat, fat Americans that we are. Mm-hmm. Damn dirty. Man. Yeah, I remember when I was a kid, we used to have. There used to be stuff everywhere for fucking Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. My mom had a box full of Thanksgiving decorations. And now I feel like no one has that shit. It's me. Nah, man, we ain't good enough. Halloween, next day, Christmas. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. not like I said. One of my neighbors who celebrates, like, all the holidays for the most part literally had Halloween decorations, lights, all the balloon, whatever you want to call them, those blow-up things. And then the next day, it was November 1st, Christmas decorations. I'm like, what the fuck? Yep. Yeah, like... Yeah. Remember the big inflatable turkeys people would have in their yards? Yeah. Yeah. It's was like, what the hell? I so jealous of that. Yep. <laughs> that big old inflatable turkey. Exactly. And I feel like you can't even find that shit anymore, to be no, honest with you. No, you can't. It's, it's, it's um, a fucking disgrace. I would say probably a handful of houses <laughs> in my neighborhood are already completely decorated. Like, as of, like, a week ago. Plus, yeah. with Christmas decorations, the house lined up and everything. 
as as it goes within the next like week or two, my, like I would say, I wouldn't say half. Maybe like less little about a quarter of my neighborhood will have decorations, which is pretty nice. So, but we have a bunch of houses here that's pretty dope that do the um the programming where it sings oh, the yeah. music. Like, there's a ton of houses here that do that. Um, we went and saw a bunch of them. Um, but the worst part is one of the houses that does it. It's literally like plays nothing but trap music, pretty much. No, it's literally on one of the <laughs> busiest roads in the city, and you have to pull off to the side of the road to actually see it because the way their house is, you can't actually drive or like park in a good spot. So you literally have to pull to the side of the road on a busy ass fucking street to watch the lights. Talk about Winter Haven. I don't know. It's just a single house. Oh, I don't okay. remember where it's at, but. Winter, yeah, Winter Haven's coming back this year, too. Um, it's going to be fun stuff. Winter Haven, essentially, what that is, it's, it's a whole community where, essentially, the expectation is if you live in this community, you decorate your house from fucking ground to roof in lights. Um, yeah, they basically uh, do, like, full-on Christmas. Like, every single house in this neighborhood is, like, Christmas the fuck out. Um, each street is a different theme. And even, like, the streets are decorated. Like, one is, like, Candy Cane Lane. Another street is, they named something else. Um, That's so a lot we, of work. Yeah. <laughs> That's too much work. It's expensive. But they do. The electric company out here literally basically gives them, like, a free pass for the month of December. Yeah, they pay oh, for their nice. electricity. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. Because it's a lot of electricity. Yeah. Yeah, no, like, it's every day, all night. Not all night, but it's it goes from like six PM to ten PM every day in December. Uh -huh. Um Yeah. It's a common it's a very popular like place to take dates and stuff like that. Take yeah, you, your kids. You walk through and then they, a couple houses have fake snow that they yeah. that they shoot out to the streets. Yeah. They have a, it's kinda you cool. Your, it's really cool. You it's just fake ass snow. <laughs> well in the fucking desert. What do you expect? Well they had a fucking blizzard up there today. Yeah. Not not really up here. It's more south. Yeah. Tiffany's yeah. moving right into it, Jeremy. It she leaves on uh, Thursday, and she's oh, yeah. uh, going she right to it. it. Yep. We have one of our employees who is moving to back to Pennsylvania. Um, it's not State College. It's almost like Dubois. Pretty much is where sure. she's moving. Um, her family's there, so. Yeah, she, that's where she's moving back. Dubois. 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 But uh, that's all I got. Um, do you want to give a quick shouty to uh, our patreon -y? Yeah. Let us go. Mad shout out to Jeffrey yes, Ryan. Yes, my dude. The boy. Yeah. We appreciate for, uh, you. Yeah. Always. Your continued support. Hell uh, yeah, man. So, thick and thin. You know something I realized? I, know, I don't know if none of us realized or if... James, you did and just forgot. The Golden uh, Joystick Awards happened on yeah Wednesday. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they Resident Evil 8 won Game of the Year. No, you got fucking damn it! I have it on here. <laughs> spoilers. Spoilers. Yeah, it's not really a spoiler. I mean, we can go into details. There's cut more that, that they we'll, won. We'll cut that out and post. <laughs> we'll, we'll chop that. Sorry. <laughs> 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 Didn't know we were talking about that. I was really happy about yeah. that. Trust me. I'm super excited about that. Um, uh, quick uh, some movie news. and we'll talk about Final oh, Fantasy. Oh, before Final that, Fantasy. before that, do you guys want to talk about Halo? I want to talk about Halo. Yeah, let's talk about Halo. I really sure. want to talk about Halo. I fucking I love Halo, Halo Infinite. <laughs> I love that game to death. It is amazing, and it's re the reason why I love Halo. I, for I forgot that I loved Halo until playing Halo Infinite. Well, weren't you just fucking destroying, like, dudes and like, oh, noobs in oh, that fucking game? Oh, god, I'm just the god. I'm a god of that <laughs> video game. <laughs> Too good. They need to nerf yeah. me. ASAP. But no, it's phenomenal. Everything from sound design, the weapons feel punchy, the weapons sound punchy. It's just so gratifying <laughs> just walking up and just slapping kids in the face. 
when their shields are down. Oh, God, I'm getting a wreck just thinking about it. <laughs> That's fucking great. That's all I want. Yeah, I have yet to play it. I haven't downloaded it. I just have yet to play it. Sorry, Sarah. I don't know if you're still here. Welcome. Hi, Sarah. Uh, I told her we were doing it tonight, so... Yeah, I, fucking, I saw a video. It's, um... When you have Xbox, you can't play Spider-Man. It's him ziplining from, like, building to building to building. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, man. You gotta do what you gotta do. Improvise, adapt, overcome. Oh, yeah. Um, And there was another one. It's, like, when you want to be toxic, it's when you're ziplining with a... What's the beam sword or whatever? Just fucking jumping on people and just fucking stabbing them, jumping again with the, with a zip line, stabbing them. Oh, it's great. <laughs> just run like hell, man. It's great. I love it. This. Didn't play a, a. Only played a few matches, but it wasn't. It wasn't bad. Um, I've never been great at Halo, but it was. I, th I thought it was decent. Um, for the couple that we played. Yeah, except when you know. wouldn't fucking swap weapons or something like that. <laughs> when I was yelling at you while we were playing with my buddy Justin. Behind you! Behind you! Behind you! Walker, change weapons. Your <laughs> your mag is empty. Your mag's about to be empty. Change fucking weapons. Press Y. Oh, shoot. Click, 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 click. Oops. Yeah, I had fun. When's the actual game come out? December 6th. Uh, yeah. Something like that. So what is what does that one have? Jim. That's the campaign. <clears throat> That's the campaign. Are they adding more to this? Well, it's season. Well, three, I guarantee so. they will. Yeah. Yeah. It's Are they doing in Battle Royal, or is that something? Like, no. I know they they said no. No, they said and no. They kind of like maybe. They hinted at it, but then people were super upset and salty about it. So they're like, oh, <clears throat> never mind. December eighth. Yeah, because I know that it was kind of like, absolutely not, then it was kind of like, eh, maybe. Uh, maybe we might do it. They never talked about it again. No, they're not going to. I wonder if they'll it keep, um... Fit. Are all the game modes for online currently out? Or are they... No. I didn't think so. so what, like, what is this considered? Just like an early access? Or is this like the full multiplayer that they released? I would say it's kind of like an early access, yeah. Because Forge mode is now. Yeah, it's they're slowly like kind of releasing things into it. It looks like. Um, Sarah says she hopes they add a I think it's Grip Ball. Um, Hell grip yeah! Ball and infection. They, I, oh, I love they, Grip Ball they, and Infection. They have to add those. Those are staples now. Yeah, those are like some classics right there. Just smacking the living crap out of people with gravity hammers. Oh, gotta love it. <laughs> Mark, I want I want to kind of see what what ingenious stuff you can come up with when they add forge mode. Oh, he yeah, who knows? <laughs> I, feel I like wasn't really into it with the Master yeah. Chief collection, so I, I don't know how it's going to happen with, or how it's going to be with uh, Infinite, <sighs> but we'll see. I, Hopefully I they guess, don't fuck it up. Yeah, I guess it's going to be way the, more the reason, from what I Yeah, heard. Uh, the reason why I didn't like it for um, Master Chief collection is that they put it a lot of limitations on um, objects as well as maps and game types. Mm -hmm. um, so, for example, you know, whenever we first got back into it, um, I downloaded like a map pack of a bunch of different maps that we played, uh, different game types, and whenever that first came out. Um, and because of that, I wasn't actually able to make more stuff because of it. So I was just like, yeah. that's a stupid arbitrary limitation. Oh. So I'm not really going to try and mess with this. So... I don't know. They, I, uh, again, I hope they don't fuck it up. We'll see what happens. No promises. I fucking didn't realize I had a giant patch of sap on my fucking arm and attached to my hair, and I didn't know what it was, so I just pulled it off. I just fucking pulled a huge chunk of hair out of my arm. That's why we can't <laughs> have nice things. That happens when you get a real tree. My, my arms do smell like fucking pine cones. I, <laughs> my arms smell like pine cones. They smell like pine. It's great. Most fresh. Most foresty fresh. Doing fucking rails of sap right there during the podcast. You're just taking bumps of sap. Oh, some great sap, guys. Oh, you don't even know. 
Have you guys ever waxed your arms? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's silly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's good. Um, do you want to go over anything else on Halo? He just wanted to explain how I much just, of a I god he wanted, was and I, just I, shove I, it in everybody I, else's I face, mean, pretty, basically. Pretty, li- listen, man, listen. I don't get to brag about a lot. <laughs> every Fuck once, it. like, you know, when I when something happens... Everybody gets gonna, one. Yeah, exactly. I want to brag. Good. And when you're fucking <laughs> good at Halo. Destroying, you're fucking destroying <laughs> dudes. What else do you can do? Yeah. I mean... Yeah? Depends how you take that, but... Yeah, I was gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna let that one go. Destroying dudes. <laughs> Depends and on. And I'm good at Halo. <laughs> Destroying dudes. And I'm you. also good at Halo. <laughs> <laughs> the title of uh, James's new sex tape. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to hang. <laughs> Play some Halo. Uh, oh, that's great. I like it. All right, movie time. Movie time. So, get a couple things, and we'll talk about some Resident Evil. So Clifford the Big Red Dog sequels in the works. Yes. Um, what potentially could be considered a flop, depending on how you see it. Um, did you see it? I did not. Uh, well, the then theoretical how can you consider a flop? release of Clifford the Big Red Dog generated only $22 million at the box office. That's how Oof. you can consider it a flop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if their budget was only $20 million, I mean, that's that's still a flop. That is technically still a flop. You, you got to think they spend they they spend probably way more than that in uh, advertising. So, well, CGI itself to make a giant fucking red dog bigger than the human. Um, yeah, it only did twenty two million dollars. Yeah, I'm uh, sure I can make that on a three hundred dollar Chromebook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, <laughs> almost three hundred dollar Chromebook. I saw the pain <laughs> in your in your face, Jet, when I said that. You I just like, I had to stop you got, for a second. You got Vietnam style flashbacks. Oh god, don't even remind me. Trust me, especially after today with Black Friday, man. Oh god. One ninety nine ninety nine Chromebook. Where's it at? Uh... I could do uh, AutoCAD on this, right? <laughs> god, people are stupid. Whatever. Keep going. Auto- sorry. Oh, Photoshop. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty much. But yeah, they're already making a sequel to the movie and hope to have it released in twenty twenty three. Um, next to that's that, pretty lofty goal. Like a year to make a movie like yeah. that, it's a very lofty well, goal. They have the assets made already. Yeah, <laughs> their whole whopping like couple million dollars in revenue that they made from that. So a new movie came out uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, Matt Damon, Adam Driver, Matt um, Damon, Bath, uh, and Ben, Matt Damon. Really, and Ben Affleck, Ben Affleck, Ben Affleck. Absolutely. English, man, fucking, he said Absolutely. everything but the proper fucking state <laughs> saying of his word. Ben Athlete. Um, ben Athlete. Ben Athlete. Uh, it's called ben The Last Duel. Uh, it bombed. And yeah, I was going to say, it didn't do as well as I expected. Uh, only, yeah. generating, un- only generating $27 million. Still better than Clifford. Uh, the, the movie cost <laughs> 100 That's a low bar, sir. <laughs> <laughs> The movie cost $150 million to make. That's the movie where he goes, the waffle thing or whatever. Um, well, so Ripley Scott was the director. And Ridley Scott? Has, Ridley, yeah, Ridley Scott, not Ripley Scott. Sorry. Now, Jesus Ripley's Christ. Believe It or Not? Yeah. Do we have to have <laughs> you do, like, a talking drill? It's, do we need to go through and have no, you it's, just... It's, it's the bumps of syrup that he did. It is. It is. Fucking my brain up. Um, so he he got an interview a couple days ago, uh, asking what happened, and he was like, well, I don't blame Disney, because it also got released to Disney Plus. Uh, So, in the interview, he's like, what it boils down to... So basically, he's blaming Disney Plus. I don't know, he said said it wasn't Disney. It's Um, not Disney, I swear. No, yeah, exactly. It's not Disney! Yes, it is. Um... Uh, he said, what it boils down to is that we've got today the audiences who brought up with these freaking cell phones, the millennials do not ever want to be taught anything unless it's through a cell phone. 
So I blame them for the lack of audience and attendance about this historical movie. Fucking Dragon Ball did history. like almost a fucking, fucking five hundred million dollars. Oh, what? That, All right, that's hold a good on. one. That's a like real reach there, those. bud. Oh good. There's, there's only one thing that I could say oh, to that, geez. and that's okay, boomer. That hurts. Yes, oh, I can. Wow. I'm like, I'm pretty sure Dragon Ball Super, the Broly movie, was literally in the middle of COVID, did like five hundred million dollars. Um, yeah. he ended the conversation with if he released the movie directly to Facebook or TikTok, we might have a different conversation. That would be a lot of episodes <laughs> of tic- of, on TikTok. Yeah, yeah, he's blaming fucking, the millennials. Fucking posted a quibby, you piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, so he's yeah, blaming the millennials. For the our balls lack of to say that, history. considering there's been plenty of movies lately that have blown up and done really well, yep. but just because your movie sucked, yep. you're blaming. I honestly the never heard about it beyond this podcast. Yeah, I only yeah. heard about it just because of Adam Driver, and there was a meme that was make of him being like. He tastes something. I don't remember what it was. And he was just like, fuck yeah. He's like, it's good soup. That's all I know about it. That's it. (laughs) That's all I know. So obviously it wasn't That's a good copy pasta. Copy soup. Yeah, that. (laughs) Christ, man. Yeah, he. God, that makes me annoyed. And he wasn't even joking either. It was legit uh, millennials' fault because we never look up at our cell phones. Look up from our cell phones. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Thanks, uh. Thanks, Mr. Scott. Um, Ghostbusters is still uh, uh, certified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, it is doing phenomenal, uh, way better than they expected. Oh, it's because the millennials are watching it on their phones, guys. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry, I was too busy on my phone. I could, I didn't. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it does have a post-credit scene. Ow! That potentially sets up Ghostbusters four. But they pretty much said it's very unlikely for that to happen, as none of the original cast wants to return. <laughs> oof. Um, That's a big oof. Mm-hmm. They all said that they were happy to come back for this one particular instance, that the script was good enough. Um, it was written by the son of the original director for the first two movies, and that was the only reason why they came back as a one-off thing, and they have no interest in coming back again. Um, I, as, know, I think by, they're all uh, what, like in their what 80s? Was Harold Ramis, his son. I didn't know yeah. it was written by that. Yeah, well, no, the director, not um, Harold Ramis oh, wrote it. Oh, yeah, Harold dr- Ramis wrote it. That's right. Yeah. Um, the actual director, it's his son. And that's why they weren't really interested in going in the one for the women, because it was written by someone random. Um, this person was actually the son of that original director. And I guess he went to um, all three. Um, God, I'm losing my train of thought. What their names are? Fucking a. You're talking about Bill like, Murray, Dan Aykroyd, and Dan Aykroyd. Let's see. Yeah, and um, Ernie. Yeah, uh, he went to all of them before he went to Paul Rudd and like the other people to make sure they actually liked it and they loved it. But they said they well, have no. Good. They have no yeah. interest in coming back for a Ghostbusters 4, uh, that this was a one-off, and they feel that they can't really continue on with the series without everybody coming back. So That's fair said, enough. Even though, even though it teases it, it probably will not, won't ever happen. Um, last but not least, Resident Evil. Uh, Resident Evil came out on Tuesday. Uh, and it is rocking a whopping 29% on Rotten Tomatoes. Hell yeah, it is. <laughs> Hell oh, yeah, brother. Funny. So, but that's funny. There's, a, there's a lot of movies like that, like Red Notice um, with The Rock. Uh, that movie is also fucking, I don't even know what that has. I know that rating is completely trash. But that movie actually, before we get to Ghostbusters, not Ghostbusters, um, Resident Evil. Uh, the Rock's Red Notice movie is officially the most watched movie in Netflix history in 11 days. It's actually a good movie. Um, it beat out Bird Box. Uh, Bird Box was the most watched movie with 282 million hours, which is Jesus fucking insane. Christ. 
um, uh, like Red Notice. One viewing of the Irishman. Yeah, pretty much. Um, <laughs> Red Notice officially has two hundred and eighty-five million hours, um, and counting. So, which is crazy to think about. That's a lot of views. I wonder how that translates to revenue back to Netflix. Like, if they reach a certain amount of hours streamed, like, what kind of revenue that or kickback do actors get for that? They probably have something in their uh, contracts. Yeah, once it I hits, like, a certain... that The Rock and uh, Ryan Reynolds and Gal Gadot had something yeah. in their contract. They would have been idiots not to. Oh, yeah, they, like, face especially, because, like, how old, because you can't view it off of revenue generated. Mm -hmm. It has to be, go it has to go off hours, but I'm curious what a contract like that looks like for every 75 hours streamed, we get X amount of money, I don't know, probably. But, Did uh, you guys Res know, uh, sorry to interrupt you, Jeremy. Hey, good. Home Alone 2 had a rotten tomato score of 34. Percent. Really, I did not know that. Uh, I was looking up because I just kind of because you brought up the thing oh, about the bad scores. That Hocus Pocus had thirty eight, and uh, Bad Boys with uh, Will Smith and uh, Martin Lawrence mm -hmm. had forty two. Damn, like there's some bad like ratings in there. Now, what you gotta think though too, like a lot of times these fucking and Mighty Ducks had twenty three. Ooh. Like, um, yo, what? Yeah, you gotta, like, a lot of these TV series, like, shows that, like, we think are good, like, in reality, like, like eh. have fucking well, I shit mean, taste. Like, one of my all favorite right, shows, right back. one of my favorite shows of all time, let me take a look at uh, Twin Peaks, what it has on Rotten Tomatoes. I know, um... Oh, it's uh, 82. <laughs> my point is invalid like fight club fight club's got a 70 yeah like but uh, fight fight so. club was it bombed early and then it, it people watched it and realized that it was a masterpiece oh yeah it became like a cool classic mm -hmm. it was a like it the... was a syndication hero let's see let's take a look oh, like tommy Wu shows the room it's yeah got well well, okay. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> That's oh, that was Top Gun. The original Top Gun has a fifty-eight. Yeah. What's a what's another movie? Uh, um, let's do Pokemon no. the movie. Pokemon the first movie. That one has a sixteen on oh. Rotten Tomatoes. That was the uh, first ouch. time I ever cried in the theaters. <laughs> that was Pokemon, the first too. movie. Yeah! It was so good, they had to remake it. Yeah, I would say it's a reimagining. Ever... Yeah. Did you ever see the, the new one? No, I haven't. Um, It's not bad. It's, it's just funny. It's literally the same movie, just more advanced with the new generation Pokemon. Cool. I think I've, my, my kids have actually watched that one. Pretty proud of him. Um, well, I was gonna talk about fucking uh, uh, Resident Evil. Just and bitch and walked away. Um, so we can move on to something else for now, and then come back to it. Uh, okay. What do you have, James? Uh, Hironobu Sakaguchi. He was the <coughs> uh composer. For or not, um, uh, creator. He was um one of like the producers and stuff for the Final Fantasy series up until Final Fantasy thirteen. This man is just speed running or speed sped run, speed run. <laughs> he sped through. Speed ran. He speed randed through Final Fantasy fourteen. <laughs> Basically. Basically, the man beat the entire story from 
A Realm Reborn, the very beginning, all the way up to um, um, the post-game, beating all the post-game stuff for, uh, shit, what the hell is the, not, Endwalker's the new one. I forget yeah. what the, the one before that is. God damn it, I'm an idiot. Sky. I, I, no, I, I, That's I, all play, right. I play video games. Um, he beat it in like a month. Jesus. My man's, I'm still in between this first, the Realm Reborn and the first expansion, Heaven's Ward. And it's been like a year and a half. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's been like a year and a half, two years, something like that. Hoo-yah. Yeah. But yeah, he beat, uh, on Halloween, he beat uh, everything in uh, patch 5.55. <clears throat> so my man's, Hironobu Sakaguchi is ready for Endwalker. Uh, it took him 16 days to beat Realm Reborn, two days for Heaven's Ward. Uh, with Sakaguchi, Tackle Storm, Shadowbringers. Shadowbringers. Yeah. Yeah, he finished Shadowbringers on October 29th and wrapped up uh, Patch 5.55 on Halloween. So a little bit more than a month it took this man to beat an MMO. Jesus. That's For a series he's not even a part of anymore. Damn. That's crazy. That yeah. did that what did fast. I miss? Here, Nobu Sakaguchi beat Final Fantasy XIV up until the new expansion that comes out soon in a month. Jesus. Yeah. Sure. It took me like a year and a half, two years to... <laughs> he get said, fuck half- a year and a half. Get- I'm going to do this in a fucking no, month. to get halfway between... The base game and the first expansion. <laughs> granted, I've taken thing. like a I, granted I've taken like a year long break, but so know, it's more like nice. six months. But yeah, sure. <laughs> you guys want to talk about Resident Evil? Since yeah. That's back. Um, Sorry. yeah, really quick. Yeah. Um, so Resident Evil came out on Tuesday. Uh, we went to go see it. Uh, to give you. Uh, uh, the floor jet. Um, kind of you let the talk about it. Spoilers ahead. Yes, very much spoilers. Kind of. If you've never played the Resident Evil games, it's spoilers. If not, not really. If you haven't played the Resident Evil games, <clears throat> stop listening and play Resident Evil. Uh, I agree with James, one hundred percent. Um. Okay. See you later, guess... guys. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Mark. <laughs> Mark, you want to uh, borrow my PlayStation? I got mm-hmm. all of them on here. <laughs> yeah, um, biggest thing was I mean I, I wasn't going into this with super high hopes I was more or less like uh, we talked about in the last podcast the casting was a little questionable um, last time I checked Jill is not like of darker skin color or whatever I don't know what the girl who's playing her ethnicity is um, as well as Leon is not Puerto Rican <laughs> um he's very white very pretty boy which uh i mean my whole thing is the actors did a great job they acted very well in it but the casting for jill and leon did not make sense the guy who played chris uh what's his name steven amell's brother robbie did Arnold. really well with that yeah he did really well i was actually very impressed uh their casting of wesker was a little questionable, but then I went back to think about it that it makes sense because back in Resident Evil 1, he really was a lot younger. Um, and he was just a big muscle head who didn't really seem to know what the heck was going on, but he kind of did. Um, the other things was I was actually definitely impressed with all the other things. They kept to Resident Evil very well. We were talking about this last time to where uh, we saw parts of one, parts of two in there, and we couldn't quite figure out what they were planning to do with this. And did it, um, it's a little questionable at first, but it, it started out very Resident Evil One esque, but kind of Resident Evil Two. Lead a little bit, probably the first what half hour you'd say, Jeremy, that it was like very Resident Evil One ish, and then it yeah. just kind of broke off, and it went basically all Resident Evil Two after that. Yeah, um, oh, that's a shame. They kept to it pretty well, actually. I was very impressed. Um. Like the, they kept the even the boss or well the boss I guess Birkin, he they kept to him so well that they did the CGI and it actually looks good where his arm is an eye and like 
everything. They did really well. I was very impressed with that. They made uh they brought his daughter into there, his wife. So they made they they followed it really well, and I was very impressed. There was a couple questionable moments where I was really sad to see Barry wasn't in it. Um, oh fuck off! Yeah, that is a little spoiler there. Um, the other thing is they did they did make a remark to a Jill sandwich though. Um, oh, it was very quick off. and it was very stupid at the beginning. Yeah, <laughs> zero ten. Uh, uh, it's probably the the remark was probably a two. Yeah, I'd say on that one, it was more like the beginning of the movie. They were at a diner and they just like, ha ha ha! This is funny. It's a Jill sandwich, and that's all they said about it, and that was it. And I was like, mm, that's a little bit cringy, but they threw it in there. I'll give yeah, it to would, him. Okay. What would have made it better is like Jill fucks up on something and Wesker just puts two slices of bread on each side of her face and goes, <laughs> what are you? And she goes, a Jill, a Jill sandwich. <laughs> uh, that would have been, have been perfect. funny. Had a very Gordon Ramsay uh, fucking pull out there. Um, there was one other part that I was actually a little thrown off. Um, what's her name from Resident Evil 1 is in there. Um, spoilers here. Um, what is her name? Lisa Trevor. Oh, Lisa Trevor's in it. Okay, so yes. they're doing it's more but, remake than original. Yes, it is all remake. Okay. Not original. Um my only complaint was she was not evil in this one. Oh. She was good. Well, She's not good. She's just she's neutral. A so she this is where it gets a little fucky. Um so she was in the orphanage. From Resident Evil 2, she was hiding underneath, which still doesn't make sense, because it's signaling she was hiding underneath the mansion originally. Um, They put her in there, so I'll give her that, but the thing was, was, I guess, so in the orphanage, and I don't remember if this is part of the game, I don't think it was, so Chris and, was it Claire, when they were kids, I guess, lived in the orphanage, in this. I don't think that was a thing in Resident Evil no maybe it was i don't think we've ever learned i don't think we've ever learned anything of like their younger days origin story or anything like that yeah um they were part of that and like i guess lisa trevor or claire was like lisa trevor when she was young when she was a kid was her only friend because technically she was like a horrified monster blah 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 um and so what happens later on is lisa trevor trevor saves claire and leon from a liquor she literally freaking snaps the top half of its head off. <laughs> and yep. it was just like, wait, what? And then she's just like, friend. And I'm like, what the fuck mm. is this? E.T.? <laughs> I'm like, uh, okay, whatever. But they did a really good job with, like, characters, looks, everything. Like, set pieces, character costumes, everything was fucking great. Like, it was fucking perfect. It made me so happy to see all that. Everything was great except some questionable like meshing of Resident Evil One and Two that they did. Yeah, at one point um, they kept bouncing back and forth between with Resident the mansion Evil One and, and the mansion. Like, yeah, the mansion and then like the the police department. They kept kind of bouncing back and forth. How, essentially, and making One and Two take place at the same exact time <laughs> when that's not what did. actually what yeah. happened. Um. I was I was happy with it though. I when I when I looked at the from perspective, which I understood what they were trying to do because it was a test to see if an actual like movie based off the games would do well. It and it did. It was good. I mean, it, I'm hoping that they've they'll probably get some feedback with the fact that the new ones, if they plan on continuing the series, um, do we want to talk about the, the the after credit scene spoiler, Jeremy, or should we leave that? Uh, it was a very quick tidbit. It wasn't much, but well, the biggest question is how do they continue it? Because yeah. what route? Because technically three, three wouldn't make sense. Yeah. No, it wouldn't make sense. They already blew up Raccoon it's City. Th- oh yeah. yeah, three wouldn't make sense at all. No. Yeah, there's so no it's Raccoon probably going to be four, but it looks like they're kind of going towards five. Dead so yeah. I'm hoping they don't mesh four and five because technically oh, if it wasn't for four, terrible. five wouldn't exist. Yeah, that would be terrible. Yeah. Like no matter, obviously in the numeric series, but in the lore and the storyline without the Los Ganados, the... At the, end of, at the end of the movie, you have Leon, Chris, 
Jill and Claire walking out of the tunnel from Resident Evil 2, walking together in a line, like basically beating it, and then all of Raccoon It's a little City questionable. Implodes. That's it's. We'll let you watch it, James. It's not a bad yeah. movie. It's okay. just like I said, the meshing is a little weird. Um, but other than that, it's actually a good yeah. movie. And then all of Raccoon City implodes on itself. So, yeah, so you have the four yeah. of them walking out. Um, which I didn't know at first, which is a surprise to me that Leon was a complete fucking bitch. Like, they just shit oh. on him the whole time. In Resident Evil 2, he kind of was. Yeah, yeah, no, he, the whole reason he survived the... He wasn't, like, bitten, and, you know... The whole reason he came in late for the whole zombie apocalypse was he slept in on his first day of the job. Yeah. <laughs> in this yeah, one, yeah. he's a raging alcoholic. Yeah. Oh. They made him even but he's worse still a than bitch. In the, the TV show on uh, Netflix. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not, like I said, it's, there's a couple questionable moments, but overall, I would say, I'd give it, like, out of 100, a 1 to 100, I'd probably give it an 80, just purely on the fact that I was very impressed with costumes, set pieces, the yeah, way they stuck to the rage. story in a lot of places, they just kind of meshed a couple things that didn't Damn. quite belong. But honestly, if you have never played the games, it was a good movie, I think. Yeah, yeah. the biggest thing was when they, they combined one and two. They essentially, like I said, they made them take place at the same exact time. So you had the story of Chris, Jill, and Wesker in the um, mansion happening the same time as Leon and Claire running through the city. Um, and eventually they all meet up together in the mansion, go to the tunnel, they destroy the dude, um, that fucking whatever his name was in the William. in the oh, train. Uh, Birkin. Yeah, in the train. They actually the... did, James. You'll be very happy about this. The last boss. Do you remember how like he turns into that big ass monster? Yeah. They kept that really good. Like they okay. literally made a perfect CGI, which didn't look like cheesy. Like it was actually really good, and I was very impressed. Like when yeah. I saw it, I was like, oh shit. This looks actually exactly like the Resident Evil 2 remake. Like, to a key, looks exactly like it. Okay. So yeah, you'll be was... very impressed with that when you watch it. You'll, I think the nostalgia of playing Resident Evil and knowing Resident Evil James and how much you love it, you'll love it just for that. I think that's what it will be for you. Yeah, it'll be. So. It was interesting. Yeah, it'll. Then... Uh, I'm curious to see. Cause they, they set it up definitely for a number a number two. Cause they, but it's just, what direction do they take it? Do they take it a completely different direction? Like the original movies, unfortunately, or what do they do? But we'll find out hopefully someday. I'm I'm hoping to see with the way that they ended it with that like after credit scene that with this they'll realize a lot of people were like we'd much rather see a movie strictly based on the game, not trying to mesh two video games into one movie. Yeah. Because if they try to do four and five, it's it's not gonna well, work because those it, two are in like completely different like times and also yeah. like areas of the world. Yeah, it was kind of hard to figure out a way to get Leon, who's in Eastern Europe or Western Europe, to and South Chris, Africa. Who's in South Africa. Yeah. So yeah. I think that I hope they listen to what people are saying because everything I'm reading so far also on it is basically the same thing. Good movie. Just they needed to stop trying to force the whole two movie thing and just yeah. or two Which video games in one movie. It would have been perfect with Resident Evil two and three. Because that's I think that's what they were trying to go for, they, but I think whoever collide. the Yeah they wanted the Spencer Mansion for nostalgia. They that's basically what it was, is they wanted the Spencer Mansion. I think that was the main thing they wanted there due to the fact that that was pretty much the main thing you saw. Other than that, they did bring the piano, by oh, the way. Cool. Good. The yeah, Moonlight good, good, good. Sonata, but it was Wesker who did it instead. Mm, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. questionable. <laughs> like I said, little things yeah. pissed me off, but other than that, it was a real decent overall movie. Um, I actually am debating probably buying it when it comes out, just because it's the only Resident Evil movie that actually followed the video games yeah. way better than the other movies that were just like nah this character uh experimented on god tier fucking destroys everybody in the world fuck him hi my uh, name's uh, alice but you don't know that until the second movie yeah yeah for the longest time i thought she was jill 
I thought they were just basically making like a a prece- or like a genetic mutation of Jill or something because she had the like look. She just didn't have the the, the everything else. Uh, uh, I'm gonna continue on there, Jeremy. Uh, that's all I got for movie news. Uh, you wanna keep going, James? Yeah. Uh, Metal Gear Solid, two and three, phenomenal games. Two of the <laughs> best games from the PlayStation Two era have been delisted from every single digital storefront due to licensing issues. <clears throat> oh wait. Um, why yeah, is there licensing game. issues when the game came out? They, uh, well, they, there was, like, some stock war footage that was used in both of them. Mm. That wasn't stock. So the license ran out. So now you can't play those on things like PlayStation Now, or you can't play, um, yeah. Uh, the following games are no longer available for sale since uh beginning the november 8th so a while ago uh metal gear solid 2 sons of liberty hd edition for ps3 and ps vita metal gear solid 3 snake eater hd edition for ps3 and vita metal gear solid hd editions for ps3 metal gear solid hd collections for vita and ps now metal gear solid hd editions 2 and 3 for xbox 360 and metal gear solid snake eater 3d for nintendo 3ds uh additionally metal gear solid 2 subsistence will be taken down from gog and Metal Gear Solid 2 HD and 3 HD for NVIDIA Shield TV will be taken down. That's um, Konami called the removals, quote, a temporary decision and said it will, quote, work towards making these products available for purchase once again. Uh, they didn't specify exactly which footage uh, caused the takedown. But, uh, yeah. That's so, uh, I mean, if you if you can... Play, uh, play Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3. They're great. Uh, should we talk about GTA Trilogy? Yeah. Should we talk about that, that fucking joke? They got pulled down and now being put back up again? I mean, just how terrible it is. How it's got... Let's see. What is it at currently on Metacritic? Because it's got, it's got one of the worst scores ever. User reviews on Metacritic. Meta Pretty crit-ay. bad, probably. <laughs> oh, the very, like, woof. Uh, GTA Trilogy. Nope. Grand Theft Auto. I wonder if it's not even going to be on here. Oh my god, there's like 18 billion goddamn things. <laughs> uh, I should have, I should have prepared. I should have prepared better. Oh, it's done fucked up. Yeah. Well, yeah, okay, here we go. It's got a point seven. Wow. A point seven. You guys have probably seen the 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 memes of how terrible the character models look, how people don't like the new art oh, yeah. style, the rain, the rain, the rain. <laughs> I can't see yeah. anything. It's not rain, it's, it's... just it's just a blocker. fucking, it's just a, yeah. Yeah, it is at least, okay, so the, that was a PS4 version. Um, according to this article from a while, it's uh, um, the Switch version has a point five. Uh, oh so it God. is up there. Yeah, hey, that's better. With, that's better. It's, it's up there with the likes of <laughs> Agony at a point four. Well, it's better than these three games. Agony for P, uh, with a point four. For the Nintendo Switch. Uh, Wordfly, which has a point four on the Nintendo Switch. And FIFA 21 Legacy Edition, which has a point three. <laughs> so, it's not... FIFA 21 on the Switch, my favorite IGN review ever. Because they just go, you know what? EA is going to release the exact same game this year with no changes. We're going to release the exact same review as last year. And they just copied and pasted it. They even say like FIFA 20 multiple times throughout the review for FIFA 21. I mean, they if just you're gonna be that bad about it, then you might as well fucking get control fucked A, up. control or control C, control V, boom, control v. done. <laughs> control V, the living fuck out of that at that point. Yeah, I like it. So yeah, <laughs> and people wonder. Well, <laughs> you know, they uh. Now, now I'm sure I'm sure 
Rockstar is going to be like, oh, well, people don't want this, so we're just going to re-release GTA V for the hundredth time. Okay. Well, so people com- So the funny part is they delisted it because so many people complained, and then people complained about them delisting it, and so they put it back up again. So it's like, uh, Rockstar, what the fuck are you doing here? And they're like, we realize we fucked up. We're worse than Cyberpunk at this. Um, That's we're gonna go ahead and give you some free games. Achievement That's what they said. unlocked. Worse than Imagine. Cyberpunk. <laughs> yeah. yeah, basically, people were, from what I read, it was saying that they're like, we realize how bad this is, so we're gonna give you the original trilogy for free. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. They did that at least. The the good versions of the game you get for free. Did it's they just... also delist those though? Well, they did, Is but then they're bringing them back about? because they, okay. yeah, I'm talking about. So they bring it up. I back, thought you were but... talking about the remake. They 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 took it away. Okay. They did. They they delisted the remake. And like, you cannot buy two of the three games on any store: PlayStation, Xbox, PC. Oh, and geez. so. What they did was people were complaining because they were like, no, own your shit. Like, you fucked up. You saw what Cyberpunk did or CD Projekt Red, and they just owned it. And so they were like, okay, we'll put it back up. And then basically anybody who bought it gets a free copy of the pre-remastered, like the the original trilogy, basically. The good ones. Yeah. Yeah. The good and... The the real games. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. The real the complete ones. Complete edition. <laughs> um, it just it was just funny how much they tried to backtrack and then everybody caught them and said, Nah, bitch. Nah, you ain't getting this luck you ain't getting lucky, bitch. And then just brought it back and said, Nah, <laughs> motherfucker, here you go. Well, we're we're gonna fix it, I guess. I don't know. We're gonna do something. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna do something I here. I don't know what. Y'all y'all like GTA five? Like, I mean we can read yeah, that. We got like half a million copies of that. We can give you some of that if you want. We'll give you like a free vehicle or something. We'll give you a discount on GTA Five. <laughs> uh, oh, you don't have a PS Five? Oh, don't worry about it. Here, yeah, yeah. Here's a here's a here's a PlayStation Five copy of GTA Five for the PlayStation Five you don't own. <laughs> <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, that's good. Just like, oh. It just it oh, made me I, as a oh, god damn it, Rockstar. Fuck it. Way to get Rockstar. fucked. Seriously, though. Uh, Basically. Hey, you guys like Super Smash Bros? Yeah. Yeah. Super Smash Bros is pretty great, right? Yeah. So a lot of companies are jumping on the Smash Bros bandwagon now that uh, Sakurai has hung up his hat finally and decided. Yeah, what the fuck is going on with that? Everybody's making like a brawl. What was it? There's yeah, PlayStation All Stars. PlayStation All Stars a while ago, and there's yeah. Nickelodeon All Stars that came out like a month ago. Yep, yeah. and I remember like one of the big prominent like Smash players was like, guys, guys, everyone to show how much we hate Smash Bros. Ultimate and how Nintendo needs to fix their shit. Everyone not sh- no one streams Smash Ultimate. Everyone play Nicktoons Battle Star Royale Edition, and nobody yep. played it. <laughs> man like was it. super salty well we got a new cha- a new challenger has appeared everyone is here now I like it w- Warner Brothers <laughs> okay it's just the battle royale thing that's all it is it's just how like when what was it Apex I think or Fortnite was the first one yeah and then Apex did it and everybody's like uh, I'm gonna make a battle royale too yeah. And now it's just like ever since Smash blew up as big as it was, which has always been popular. Yeah. It's everybody's Smash. like, let me just make make a, a Smash S yeah. game, fighter game, side scroller type thing. Mm-hmm. And yeah, and now everybody's just kind of like, yeah. All right, so the new Warner Brothers game. It's called Multiverses. Clever name. I I like it. It's pretty good. All right, you guys want to take. You you guys want to guess on some of the name uh, some of the characters? Batman. 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 Yes. <laughs> Superman. Bugs Bunny. Yes. Uh, Bugs Bunny. Bugs. Yes. Um, what's his name? Elmer Fudd. No. Oh. Sad day. Uh, Daffy Duck. <laughs> no. What? 
That's wow. blasphemy. All right, so real quick, let's go down the list. Wonder we got Woman. Bat- yep, Wonder Woman's number. You guys got one, two, and three. Hell yeah. yeah. Uh, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Harley Quinn, Bugs Bunny, Jake the Dog, <laughs> Finn the Human, Steven Universe, Garnet from Steven Universe. Tom they don't have Jerry. Daffy Duck, but they have Finn the Human? And Steven the Universe. The fuck? Oh, and oh. Steven Universe? Oh, hold the phone, it gets better. Uh, oh we got Tom and Jerry... Ryan Dog, who okay. is an OC. Arya Stark from Game of Thrones. <laughs> and probably the greatest fighter <laughs> to ever be in. It's what we've been wanting as Smash fans. Shaggy from Scooby Doo. But Fuck not yeah. just that. Oh, but that it's the, it Hold isn't. On. I did Hold hear on. about this. Ultra Instinct, Instinct Shaggy. Shaggy. Yes, I saw that. That is the main he reason I might buy this real. game. Is just Ultra he Instinct is Shaggy. Real. Ultra <laughs> yes. Instinct Shaggy is ascended above meme formats to become the real deal. That's fucking <laughs> awesome. How many Ultra Instinct Shaggies could take down Goku? You know who's no what's great about it? That's the answer. Half. You know what? That's the fun thing about that, too. They're having, um, what's his name? Uh, the guy who played Shaggy in the Scooby-Doo movies do the voice acting for him. Yep. yep. It's I'm great. super hyped about that. I'm so happy it's about that. It's great. That's awesome. So, great. some of the game modes that it's going to have is 1v1, 2v2, 4-player, free-for-all, so Smash. Um, each character is going to have unique abilities. Um, but here is... The thing about it, it's going to be free to play. Hey, fuck yeah! All right, yeah. I got dibs on Ultra Instinct Shaggy. Fuck you guys, God, you bitch. <laughs> so you win. You just win. Fuck yeah, man! Of course I do. Fuck yeah! Uh, fuck it's going to support, tier, man. It's going to support cross play and cross progression across all of supported platforms. It's coming out for the Xbox Series family of consoles: Xbox, PS5, PS4, and PC. Fuck yeah. Dedicated oh, server-based yeah. rollback netcode, baby! The real netcode. <laughs> nice. We'll, uh, we'll support the online gameplay for the life of the game to help reduce lag and disconnects. So, hey, that's that's cool. We'll see how well that works out on release. Yeah, I can't wait to play as Ultra Instinct Shaggy. Fuck yeah. Uh, Fucking the Game of Thrones ones is weird to me. That really I mean, they're owned by WD. What do you expect? Yeah, yeah I can't really wait to play as Arya Stark. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, I would expect it like Aquaman. Nah, Aquaman's too too C tier. Uh, uh, he's too C tier. <laughs> All right. Uh, so the Golden Joystick Awards happened. Yeah, they did. Let's not talk about the jo- Golden Joystick Awards. Let's talk about the Game Awards, real quick. And sure. the nominees. So, I already spoiled one of them. Sorry, guys. I want to. I don't. Okay, let's just go vote now. I guess. But no, I don't want to subscribe. Let's see the categories. <laughs> All right, let's uh, take a quick look. Game of the year: We got Death Loop, It Takes Two, Metroid Dread, Psychonauts Two, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, and RE Village. Let's go, Resident oh, Evil. This, this okay. Uh, game direction, Deathloop, it takes two, Returnal, Psychonatsu, Ratchet and Clank. Best narrative is Deathloop, uh, Deathloop, it takes two, Life is Strange, True Colors, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, Psychonauts 2. Best art direction, The Artful Escape, Deathloop, Kenya, Bridge of Spirits, Psychonaut 2, Ratchet and Clank, Rift Apart. You can see a little trend here. Best score, music, The Artful Escape, yeah. Cyberpunk. Deathloop, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, and Near Replicant version 1.22474487139. Best audio design, Deathloop, Forza Horizon 5, Ratchet & Clank, Rift Apart, uh, Resident Evil Village, Returnal. Uh, Best performance, Erica Mori as Alex Chen from Life is Strange. Giancarlo Esposito as Anton Castillo from Far Cry 6. Jason Kelly as Colt Van from Deathloop. Uh, Maggie Robinson is Lady Dim- Dimitris from RE Village. And, hey. oh, the <laughs> lady from uh, Deathloop. I don't want to butcher her name. 
<laughs> uh, best them. game for games for impact uh, before your eyes. Boyfriend dungeon, chicory, a colorful tale, life is strange, true colors, and no longer home. Uh, best ongoing game, apex legends, final fantasy, 14, Fortnite, Genshin impact, call of duty, Warzone. Basically uh, every single ongoing game. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I like how I feel like the golden joystick. They're just like, eh, here you go. Best indie game, 12 Minutes, Death Store, Inscription, Kenya Bridge Spirits, Loop Hero. Best mobile game, presented by Verizon. Uh, Fantasian, <laughs> Genshin Impact, League of Legends Wild Rift, Marvel Future Revolutions, and Pokemon Unite. Uh, best community support, Apex Legends, Destiny 2, Final Fantasy XIV, Fortnite, No Man's Sky. Uh, innov- <laughs> Innovations in Accessibility, presented by Chevrolet. Uh, Far Cry 6, Forza Horizon 5, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, Ratchet & Clank Rift Fart, The Veil, Shadow of the Crown. Uh, best VR slash AR, we have Hitman 3. That is a dumbass fucking picture. It's just Agent 47 with the PSVR headset on. Uh, <laughs> Hitman 3, I Expect You to Die 2, Lone Echo, Resident Evil 4, and Sniper Elite VR. Uh, Resident Evil 4 VR is adding Mercenaries mode here soon. Um... <laughs> Best action game, Back for Blood, Chivalry 2, Deathloop, Far Cry 6, Returnal. Best action adventure, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, Metroid Dread, Psychonauts 2, Ratchet and Clank, Rift Apart, Resident Evil Village. Best role-playing, Cyberpunk, t- Cyberpunk, Monster Hunter Rise, Scarlet Nexus, Shin Megami Tensei 5, and Tales of the Arise. We got animes for days, baby. Best fighting, Demon Slayer, Katsuemu no, uh, Katsemu no Yaiba, The Hinokami Chronicles. <laughs> Yeah, Guilty Gear Strive, Melty Blood Type Lumia, Nickelodeon All Star Brawl, and Virtual Fighter Five Ultimate Showdown. I know Virtual Fighter Five isn't gonna win. Uh, best Family Game. It takes two. Mario Party Superstars, New Pokemon Snap, Super Mario 3D World, plus Bowser's Fury and WarioWare Get It Together. Man, four of those five are Nintendo first party titles. Accurate. Best Sim slash Strategy. Age of Empires Four, Evil Genius Two, World Domination, Humankind, Encryption. Or Inscription and Microsoft Flight Simulator. Best Sports slash Racing, F1 2021, FIFA 22, Forza Horizon 5, Hot Wheels Unleashed, and Riders Republic. Best Multiplayer, Back for Blood, Knockout City, It Takes Two, Monster Hunter Rise, New World, and Valheim. Val- Valheim. Uh, Content Creator of the Year, Dream Can Go Fuck Himself, uh, Floozy, Gulls, Ebi, I don't know who any of these people are. Yeah, I haven't Graphic. heard any of those guys. Graphic? I don't know. I know who Dream is. He's a piece of shit. Best debut indie. The Artful Escape, The Forgotten City, Kenya, Bridge of Spirits, Sable, Valheim. Most anticipated game presented by Prime Gaming. We got Elden Ring, God of War, Ragnarok, Horizon Forbidden West, the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. That's what it's called. And Starfield. <clears throat> Best esports game presented by Grubhub. Call of Duty. Counter Strike Go. Dota 2, League of Legends, Valorant. Best esports athlete, uh, Chris Simp Lair, Heo Showmaker Sue, uh, Ma- Magmo Collapse, Col- okay, uh, Simple, <laughs> and Tyson Tens, no. Best esports team, Atlanta Phase, 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 Phase Up, uh, DWG so glad Kia. That you didn't show that. Yeah, uh, Noctis, okay, Sentinels, Team Spirit. Uh, best esports coach, okay, and best esports event, okay, yeah, that's your best uh, of 2022. One, Woo. that's 22 that's your, game, one. that's your game awards nominees. Um, hey. let me real quick talk about Phil Spencer and how much how many dubs he's been sh- just spitting off here in the past few uh weeks. <clears throat> Let's see, number one, Phil Spencer. Calls for industry-wide support of game preservation via emulation. My man's is okay with emulating. There's only uh, one company who's against it, which is just... What's it called? Um, Nintendo. It's Nintendo. like the only company that's like, meh, no, eh. Yeah. Uh, Phil Spencer which says... the one NF- company everybody uses. Sorry, go Phil's- ahead. Xbox boss Phil Spencer says NFT game plans feel more exploitative than about entertainment. So he says, fuck NFTs. And number three, he's like, okay, come on, redirect me. 
That's why I love this man. Uh, Microsoft is joining the the group, the crew of Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft by saying, "Fuck Activision, they suck." And he's Accurate. quote, everybody is basically saying that. Yeah, he says he's quote evaluating the relationship with Activision. Like, yikes. there's a rumor going around that basically stating is that Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo are all going to just say "fuck you, Activision" Fuck and you, take a step out, out. Yeah, and just be like, "We're not selling your games. We're not doing any of that until you fix your shit." Which that's your three main. The only thing you have left is PC. Yeah, that is literally Which it. Steam will publish and anything. like, yeah. So I'm pretty sure they're just going to be. They're gonna. He's going to get fired, or he's going to be. I'm going Bobby to take Kotick. a leave. Whatever the fuck oh, he's doing. Well, Bobby Kotick has said that. Oh yeah. I will this resign most... if. Uh, I will. Jane... No, no, no. He will think about resigning. Will, oh yeah. Not, he'll think he about. He will resigning. resign. He will think about resigning. Yeah. After so... um, it. What was it that I don't remember the rest of it, but I know it was a think about resigning. Yeah. If if. Things don't improve in a reasonable time frame. Something like that. Yeah. He was very vague about Basically it. Basically stating, he knows he's this is leaving. his fault, so he's like, I'm not leaving. I'm going to be a stubborn-ass bitch, and uh, I will think about leaving. Yo, yo, the thing is, like, that's what made me so upset, was he said he'd think about leaving. It's not yeah. even the fact, like, you don't have to leave. Just say, oh, if things don't get better, I'll do my best to make it better. He's not doing anything. He's just saying, I'm thinking about it. Like, Yeah, he's saying that from the dick. Cosby room. From the Bill Cosby room. Mm-hmm. Bobby Kotick live. Get the uh, Sacramento Kings and the LA Lakers just went to triple overtime. Jesus fuck, man. It's only the f- it's the first game in the last five years to go into triple overtime. <laughs> Get fucked, man. Sorry. Uh, You're good. Two last things. Uh, the it's uh, Kojima Productions launches a new division focused on film and TV. Nothing's been nothing's been announced yet. No projects oh, yeah. said so. They're gonna bring back the Silent Hill movies. Probably not. Maybe. Fuckers. Um. Beaches. Yeah, that's that's it. Just Koji Pro is making movies. He's doing his he's doing his lifelong work. What he's always been working for. Um. And then, real quick, gold, uh, golden uh, <clears throat> golden joystick awards. Um. Best storytelling went to Life is Strange Two Colors. Best multiplayer went to Eight, It Takes Two. Best audio went to Resident Evil Village. Best visual design went to Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Best mobile game is, or best game expansion is Ghost of Tsushima Iki Island expansion. Mobile game of the year is Wild or League of Legends Wild Rift. Best gaming hardware is PS Five. Best indie game is Death's Door. Studio of the year is Capcom. Best performer is Maggie Robertson for Lady Dimitrice. Uh Breakthrough award is House Mark. Uh, best game community is Final Fantasy XIV. Go figure. Still playing award Final Fantasy XIV. Go figure. PC game of the year Hitman Three. Nintendo game of the year Metroid Dread. Xbox game of the year Psychonauts Two. PlayStation game of the year Resident Evil Village. Most wanted game Elden Ring. Critics Choice Award Death Loop. Ultimate game of the year is Resident Evil Village. Ultimate hardware of all time is PC. Ultimate game of all time is Dark Souls. I am sure. I'm really happy sure. about the Resident Evil winning that. I am. Such a good game. I don't think Dark Souls should be on the ultimate game of all time list. Um, I think, uh, I think they're, you know, you know, maybe, okay. uh, maybe Miyazaki kind of paid him off a little bit. You know, just a bit. Just saying, you know, maybe Chrono Trigger is a much better game by like leaps and bounds. And, by a lot, you know, you know, there's a lot better games than you know. Smash my controller simulator 2019. Just saying. <laughs> Accurate. Know, just, just saying. That's all I have for news. Um, anybody have anything before I go? No, you're it. You're up there, bud. No, I have at it. Okay. Uh, it's Pokemon just released. Uh, last week. Um, already a streamer managed to capture. Every Pokemon in under 24 hours. Um, one of the streamers, um, his name is Small Ant, uh, provided a um, monumental Twitch stream where he captured every Pokemon in brilliant uh, diamond and shining pearl 
in one day. Um, he was able to capture him in about 22 hours, um, and he set to go for 24 straight, and he was able to complete it. So, GG's to you, dude. Supposed to be like a minimum of 30 hours in to play to beat that game. Yeah, yeah, he got every Pokemon in under 24 hours. Uh, with that being said, Star Citizen has now raised over. Four hundred million dollars. Yeah, they uh, recently did a new uh, campaign or a new fundraising drive in their most recent press uh, announcement. Damn, um, four hundred million dollars. Shit of yeah, they did their typical shit of releasing or pr- allowing people to pre-order ships that are going to have you know crazy cool technologies that they Jesus. haven't been haven't actually made yet. But the, it's you. It's in the you're investing in the future of the game. So um, so is hold on is Star Citizen just the greatest like Ponzi scheme in gaming? Probably I, I'd, so, more or less. I'd say so. Like yeah, because there's game a game ain't... there, but like it's it, it's a really great marketing and like <laughs> you know like the community is so like the community that are diehard for it are super diehard for it like. You totally get the whale players that just want everything. Yeah, and currently sure according to the website, there is three point three million people Jesus. who are contributing to the game's success. Which is insane. Yeah, though, it really yeah, is. If your, like... your ships cost like seven hundred dollars for yeah. a pre order or something. That's yeah, so this it's game been it's like twenty stupid. years or something like that. Uh it's been in like in like a development for 10 years i think yeah uh, and they literally have not they have not yet to alpha. basically yeah. yeah they have not yet to say anything about release dates they're basically just keeping it in beta testing slash alpha testing that's all yeah, you can play it in, right yeah, yeah. pre-production yeah. for the game according to the wikipedia article so take that with a grain of salt uh pre-production of the game began in 2010 with production starting in 2011 so it's been a little yeah, over years. it's 11, yeah 10 11 years the launch of the game was originally anticipated for 2014 <laughs> it is now 2021 almost 2022 and they have yet to even get it past like i said beta testing and even then it's not really it's basically how arc was where arc was in fucking what was it like pre pre-release pre-preview whatever for what five years yep. but at least they actually finally released it like the fuck and is going on here for this game? Arc too. Yep. Uh, With Vin Diesel. Yeah. Um, a couple of the uh, pieces of news here. Cyberpunk 27, 2077 is having its first good day. Yeah, PC it's actually got like super high reviews. Yeah. Um, the PC version is Steam's number one best-selling game right now, and it's got mostly positive reviews. Yeah, it's because it took them all, I don't know, a year to fucking fix it. So GG's to Cyberpunk on finally having a successful day in its Actually, career. When did the of, game come out? Uh, I thought it was year. second. Uh, right behind was... Farming Simulator. I'm not sure. Hell yeah. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> this was today Farming at 1 p.m. Sim. Um, Pretty sure they're fighting for that spot. Yeah. <laughs> it said it said it, it did jump at one point today to number one. So I'm assuming if it's not there now, it was earlier. <laughs> um, sorry you, to interrupt a little you... touch on here. What cracks me the fuck up is, uh, so I looked up Cyberpunk to just figure out what I don't remember exactly when the release date was. Um, top five questions for people also ask is: Is Cyberpunk 2077 fixed? Okay. Will Cyberpunk 2077 be free? And can you get a girlfriend in Cyberpunk 2077? Hell and yeah. then the last question is: uh, Is Cyber tw- Cyberpunk 2077 good now <laughs> so, like so just let that sink in for a second that cyberpunk has been out for over about a year now a little bit over yeah a year. september 27th so over a year yeah a little bit over a year now now let's let's go back in time to the wonderful year of 2015 right after the witcher 3 came out yeah and t- tell our younger selves hey in in six in five years, six years, 
the next game by C Project Red is going to be shit. A broken for mess year. for the first year. And in its like its next year, in its sophomore year, it's It'll going be to be fighting for first place with farming simulator. <laughs> Get fucked. That's like that's like going back to colonial times and giving someone a Dorito, like just blowing their fucking mind. Watch their fucking mind, mind, their head just explode. Yeah, they can't handle the power of the Dorito. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it's true. Not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, what that's else you hilarious. got for us, Jeremy? Uh, so that is pretty much it. There is. Uh, Roblox is suing a YouTuber for $1.6 million. Oh, uh, yeah, I heard about that. Over traumatizing um, uh, kids using its platform. Um, this YouTuber, Ruben Sim, um, is going to court over allegations over attacking the, the game's social media platform and, young, uh, and its young uh, players um, essentially lose, using its platform for sexual harassment, terroristic threats, mm. and mm. secretly hiding pictures of Hitler throughout mm. his um So every Modern Warfare 2 lobby back in yeah, the day? Pretty much. I was gonna <laughs> say that. I mean you know, it's you know uh... kids these days wouldn't survive in the Modern Warfare 2 lobbies. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I back then. Though. Oh, yeah. I remember the words that were said. Everyone um, fucked my mother. <laughs> That's when I learned my mother was a whore. <laughs> uh, due to the terroristic threats that happened in the game, it actually caused Roblox to shut down um, its um, developer conference last year based off of the terroristic threats that were in the game, saying that the um, conference was going to be bombed. Uh, which caused the company a lot of money. <laughs> so they had to shut it down. Even the company that makes billions of dollars off of kids basically wanting to buy skins. Um, and so he, they had to um, investigate the threats, obviously, which then caused them to shut the conference down, which caused them a lot of money. So now the guy who reported the threats is being sued and fined by Roblox and a variety of other people. Sounds like a great human being. Yeah. That is Absolutely. 100% sarcasm. Let me clarify. That is 100% yeah, sarcasm. Yeah, no, 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 we no, just no, talked about Modern Warfare 2 lobbies. Yeah. So that's all I have. Uh, let's get into some releases. Yes, let's. Uh, well, what should we get to? I would do probably the week of Christmas. Are we planning to do another one between now and Christmas? I hope. Okay. I mean, I am. Yeah, I fucking now. hope. Let's do the next two weeks. Okay. Uh, so what would that lead us? The 10th? Okay. Would... Yeah. All right. So we have on November 30th, uh, the World Ends Club comes out for PC. Uh, MotoGP, uh, Moto, uh, MXGP 2021 comes out for Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. Fight Night... That's K N I G H T, not N I G H T. Uh, comes out for PC on the thirtieth. Beyond a Steel Sky comes out for PS4 and Nintendo Switch. Odd World Soulstorm Enhanced Edition comes out for PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Series X on the thirtieth. Prop Night comes out for the PC on the thirtieth, and Evil Genius Two World Domination comes out for a bunch of shit. Uh, PS4, PC, PS5, Series X, Xbox One. Uh, then we have, on December 2nd, we have Mecha Jammer coming out for PC and Mac. Asterix and Oblix Slap Them All coming out for PC and Switch. <laughs> Justice Chronicles coming out for PC and Series X. Warhammer 40k Battle Sector coming out for PS4 and Xbox oh. One. Solar Ash coming out for PC and PlayStation 5. Century Age of Ashes coming out for PC. The Walking Zombie 2 coming out for the Xbox One on the 2nd. Uh, Dairoku Agents of Sakuratani coming out for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, the Kids We Were Complete Edition coming out for the Nintendo Switch on the 2nd. The Plane Effect coming out for Xbox One and PS4. 
Okay, here we go. Dairoku Ayakeshimori coming out for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, My Universe Interior Designer coming out for the PC on the second. On the third, we have Happy Humble Burger Farm coming out for PC, PS4, PS5, Switch, Xbox One, and Series X. We have Cronus coming out for PC and PS5. Big Brain Academy, Brain vs. Brain coming out for the Nintendo Switch on the third. Disney Magical World 2, My Happy Life coming out for the... the... You good? I don't think it's coming out for the 3DS, but it's coming out for the Nintendo Switch. Um, (laughs) Danganronpa uh, Dissidents coming out for the Nintendo Switch. Grim Dawn coming out for the Xbox One. On the fourth, we have Icarus coming out for the PC. On the sixth, we have Spellforce 3 Reinforced coming out for the PC. 12 Minutes coming out for PS4 and Nintendo... Oh, that's that's the only thing on the sixth. On the seventh, we have 12 Minutes coming out for PS4 and Nintendo Switch. Final Fantasy XIV and Walker coming out for PS4, PS5, and uh, PC. What, uh, 12 Minutes? Yeah, I need to play it. Have it downloaded. Uh, White Shadow coming out for the Xbox Series X. Ever Forward coming out for Xbox One and Switch on the seventh. Heavenly Bodies coming out for PC and PS5. Rune Factory 4 Special coming out for PS4 and PC. Wolf Strike coming out for the PC. Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Duel the Dawn of the Battle Royale coming out for the Nintendo Switch on the 7th. No, please tell me they're not doing a Battle Royale Yu-Gi-Oh! game. Oh, that would be fucking rad and terrible. Uh, yeah, all at the same time. <laughs> on, yeah. on December 8th, we have a little game called Halo Infinite. I never heard of that coming to PC and Xboxes. Uh... Transcendent coming out for PS4 and Xbox One. Uh, Sam, and, Sam, Sam and Max. Sam and Max Beyond Time and Space coming out for PC and PS or PC and Xbox One. On the 9th, we have Monster Rancher 1 and 2 DX coming out for the Switch and PC. Monopoly Madness coming out for the Switch and PC. Witchwood coming out for PS5 and PC. Loop Hero coming out for the Switch. After the Fall coming out for PC and PS4. Uh, Demon Gaze Extra coming out for P- PS4 and Switch. Antarctica 88 coming out for the Xbox One. Super Imposter or Super Impossible Road coming out for the Switch. And on the 10th, we have Vaporium Lockdown for the PS4 and Xbox One. And Siberia The World Before coming out for the PC. Back to you guys. Uh, it is, uh, hey. On the 28th, we have Elves Season 1. So it is a horror take on Horrible. evil elves for Christmas. Um, basically, yeah. Uh, so if you want to watch a, a, a new Christmas tradition with uh, elves that try to murder you, that's the way it's to like do it. Krampus, but leprechaun. Yeah, pretty so. much. Uh, tomorrow, actually, in the 28th, I yeah. missed it, on HBO Max. More like Krampus. Um, we are getting the 20, 20th anniversary of Harry Potter and Sorcerer Stone coming to HBO Max where the original crew and the cast come and talk about their experiences filming that movie and what it meant to them and what it meant to the movie industry. I hope uh, J.K. Rowling isn't Max. there. No, I really not. hope not. Good. I'm sure, sure everyone would have some... Movies. I'm sure everyone would have some words. Oh, yeah. To say um, the least. I think she was Fuck more of J.K. A Rowling. On the movie. Um... <laughs> yeah, I think she was just more of a consultant. I don't think she really had anything to do with how it was actually you, played out. Did you know that Nintendo tried to license Harry Potter before like the movies came out, so they would be like the uh, only the company that would... proprietor there? Yeah, that's funny. I'm glad they didn't because I like playing them on PlayStation. Uh, I don't PC. On the 29th, 14 peaks. Nothing is impossible. Is coming to Netflix. Uh, so. Uh, basically the premise, I mentioned, I'm intrigued in this, kind of watch it. Um, if you want to hike up all 14 major mountains in the world, it usually takes you about seven years to do it. Uh, this guy is going to do it in seven months. Mm. So basically mm. it's his journey to, to climb all 14 major mountains in the world and do it in seven months. Um, basically he's going to climb two per month. Your body is going to hate him. Oh yeah. Hey, Netflix is funding it, so he's like, "Fuck it, why not?" Well, I mean, uh, well, I was gonna say he didn't, die. he must not have died because they're releasing it, but I wouldn't put that a pa- that past Netflix. Yeah. I really um, wouldn't. On the thirtieth, if we want to watch the movie that us millennials caused to flop, we can. The The Last Duel releases to Vaughn on the thirtieth. <laughs> Fucking millennials. Yeah, no doubt. Um, yeah. 
I'll make sure to watch it on my phone. In Portugal. <laughs> I'll watch it on TikTok, don't worry. Yeah. yeah. Make sure uh, the Insta via the gram has it at all times. <laughs> there's like a bajillion uh, Netflix Siri, HBO Max, Amazon, uh JoJo's Bizarre okay. Adventure season five comes to HBO comes to Netflix on December first. Yeah, I'll I didn't even know. I thought on. it was only like season two. I didn't realize that show has gotten that many seasons already. So yeah, Araki just finished uh we got that's Jojo Leon or oh, no no, that's um Stone Ocean, we still have Steel Ball Run, Jojo Leon, or no, Steel Ball Run. Yeah, and then it's Jojo Leon, which has been going on for like 10 fucking years. And then he's now working on the next uh, next series of Jojo. So right. We have a, a bunch of Disney Plus shows. Um, we have one on the December 3rd called The Rescue. Uh, basically, it's a film that goes against all odds of the story of the um, of the 12 kids that were stuck, which I didn't know this was even a thing. I guess 12 kids got stuck into a cave that was flooded. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, Elon this happened Musk a couple years a ago. Pedophile. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah like, the dude who that. rescued the guy is a pedophile. It was like last year. Yeah. No, I think it was They got in there ago. not realizing that um, it fills up with water if it rains, and nobody told them that, and it rained, and it filled with water, and so they had to, like... Have a bunch of divers go in and go through these tiny ass holes and yeah, the Navy Seals had to go get them. Um, yeah. yeah, so Disney Plus and Discovery on National Geographic, I mean, is doing a documentary about it that's releasing at Disney Plus. What about a pedophile? I'm surprised they're doing something like that. And Elon like... Musk called the guy that saved them a pedophile. Yeah, oh, really? Yeah, because <laughs> he was salty Actually. because they were like, "Yeah, no, Elon, keep your fucking boring company away from this." please oh yeah he was he was trying to do it through his company Uh, okay that makes sense um the animated tv series uh diary of a wimpy kid released december 3rd on disney plus uh i kind of had to watch this by proxy but pen 15 season one and season two released to hulu on december 3rd Um, (laughs) uh what else (sighs) is here (laughs) Pen fifteen. Yep. That spells. That spells penis. <laughs> uh, penis. Oh yeah. <laughs> Can I go through the <clears throat> really crazy special? Um, oh, on. Where we go? Uh, there's a bunch of fucking Netflix series and shit. Also on Disney Plus. On December 8th, comes out a new series it's called Welcome to Earth. Um, it is featuring Will Smith. So think of, like, Planet Earth, except instead of just showing, like, wilderness and, like, waterfalls and rainbows and shit, Will Smith is actually being the one narrating it, and you actually see him looking at it. So he goes to different parts of the world. You're looking at um, it through goes... fucking, like, binoculars and going Fortnite. <laughs> Uh, he goes whitewater rafting through the Grand Canyon. He goes um, skydiving and goes to Antarctica, things along those lines. Still uh, can't ever top Snoop Dogg doing Planet Earth and being like, oh, that me can't go. Go. That motherfucker's <laughs> getting it. That snake going to get, oh, we got knocked the fuck out. Yeah, can't ever top that. I'm sorry. I see, no, that was top Snoop point. Doggy Dog. You can't do it, man. On December 10th, we have Steven Spielberg's rendition of West Side Story. Oh, fucking Christ. Um, so that'll be interesting. And then we have another movie coming to Netflix on December 10th from Sandra Bullock called The Unforgettable. Um, basically, uh, she was a violent criminal that gets released back into society, um, but can't forget her past, and her past comes back to haunt her. Oh, fun, fun. Uh, fun, lots, fun. Yeah. Well, that's all I sure. got. Um, we can go around the room. Where can we find you? What are you going to be doing? Uh, James, start with you. Uh, Well, I mean, I'm sure I'm going to be streaming between now and the next time we record. So uh, you can find me playing either Yakuza, or not Yakuza, Lost Judgment, Tales of Arise, or Pokemon, uh, twitch.tv slash Jimmy Noodles GG. Uh, if you miss something, 
Uh, you can check out the VOD at youtube.com slash Jimmy Noodles Gaming. I swear I'm going to post the last episode of Resident Evil Village that I've been sitting on for months. I swear, promise. Um, that's going to be, I don't know, one of these days I'll get it uploaded. It's all edited. I just need to hit the upload button. Um, <laughs> a lot of extra and, work. Yeah, I know, right? And then uh, you can find me on Twitter at Jimmy Noodles GG. Yep. Um, I know I talked about this last time. I'm trying to get back into the streaming. I've just been real busy with everything going on right now. Um, uh, real stressful, real tired. Basically, what the fuck are you doing, Jeremy? Um, and my thing is the Jet 362. I'm catching on Discord. I'm planning to actually, funny enough, as he's talking about the Resident Evil 8 Village, I'm actually going to go do a playthrough of one and two, the remakes of Resident Evil one nice. and two, because. Watching the movie the other night made me really want to go play through them, so I want to try to see if I can stream that and see if I can uh, remember most of the things and see how many jump scares catch me off guard. Oh. Um, other than that, pretty much same thing on YouTube, just Jet 362. Haven't really uploaded anything on there. Still trying to work that kind of kinks out of that one more or less, but uh, yeah, just pretty much doing the normal things, playing with these guys and having shenanigans. Mark? Oh. Um. Nothing too exciting for me, but uh, if you're interested in seeing if I ever make content, it's on YouTube and Twitch at MarkDude701. Hey. Uh, I think uh, Walker is left, yeah? yeah? Yeah, he's trying to figure out what to do with his fingers. I don't know what's going on there. That's what she said. No. <laughs> Holding my, he my head in my hand. Um, then for myself, <laughs> you can find me at DCaptainGeech on everything. Uh, um... Yeah, I don't know what I'll be doing, work and everything like that, but we'll see. Um, but the Captain Geech, you can see my past stuff, make some laughs, and uh, have fun. Uh, and as always, you can find us on all the socials, everywhere that you want to listen to podcasts, Level Unlocked Podcast. If you'd like to become part of our Patreon, you can do so at patreon.com slash Podcast. If you'd like to follow us on Twitter... You can follow us on Twitter at what, James? Got all Twitter. LVL Unlocked Pod. That's LVL Unlocked Pod. And if you like our exclusive content, you can go to level unlocked dot pod peen pod bean. There we go. Pod penis. Pod penis. Dot com. No, um, it's pod pen 15, guys. Come on. It is. Family friendly. Uh, you fucks. <laughs> sorry. We are keeping it family friendly, sir. We are. Uh, we all you appreciate suck. you guys being here, and we'll see you guys next week. Later. Bye. Have a good one.